Srna Gora. Hi guys, my name is Robiv Tsu and today I'm gonna do a review of my 30th place which is Montene Montenegro. But before that I want to uh, say a few words because uh, there were some comments uh, saying that uh, it's not a real reaction. Okay, it's not a hundred percent first reaction like I've never heard this song and stuff like that to all the songs uh, but still it's kind of a reaction of what I think and I uh, refer to the song like uh, on the uh, live you know I record it and at the same time I uh, you know watch the performance the music video and kind of react to it it's not the most honest reaction because uh, it would be when I would uh, listen to it for the first time but it's like the, I don't know, I, I've listened to it m multiple times or just a few times, like two, three, four, five or more. It depends on the song, if I liked it or not. And that's why I go up my top uh, from the la last place to the first place, slowly, uh, you know, gradually. Uh, and yeah, every day I publish one video. So that's basically, basically it. And from now on, to have a like peaceful mind, uh, I'll do uh, a because it's more like a re review, uh, my review of the song, and yeah, I'll do a review instead of a reaction. So uh, I'm gonna review the song uh, from now on in the title and in the thumbnails. There will be review and not reaction. So that's. Uh, the difference. But let's go back to the song. Uh, for the second year in a row, uh, Montenegro has gone for a national selection Montevisi called Montevisi Montevisia. And uh, well, again, we had five songs, and the winner was the band, which, which had the, like the only song in English, uh, and it's, it's Demo with the song Heaven. So let's go jump into the music video and I'll review this uh, entry underway. So let's go. Have a So it's like the last place, so we're starting going into my top 30. To be honest, I saw this uh, music video once and uh, to be honest compared to the revamp uh, it's kind of the first version is you know there's a lot of differences like this revamp has more more originality like I would say it's more original more definitely more of instrumentals, which is a good thing, obviously. It's a happy song, and I liked it from the very first time I listened to this song in the ver ver first version. You know? I like the music videos of nature, you know, like spring, winter. Awesome grandpa playing on a cool string instrument. I love it. Like that solo of his. I would love to have him on the stage, but it's impossible since this band is uh, consisting of six people. So there will be a problem with bringing this grandpa on stage. I think the vocals are pretty good and well, the live performance wasn't like that perfect, you know, like they had that great harmony and stuff like that, but it sounded pretty okay. They are for sure all of, of these six are talented people.
I can eat those high notes, especially that kind of, I, I don't know, that he has kind of bald hair, like very short hair, oh, that, that's what I got. On the other hand, it's just too much of this instrumental, uh, like this, like there's this and this and this and this and this, it's, you know, like, too much in one, made into one, you know, that's what I feel like. Uh, it could be a bit less, like it's unnecessary to do, like, every single ethnic instrument. It sounds kind of ethnic, which I like, because et ethnic ba uh, Balkan songs are sounding awesome. Uh, it has that kind of really cool feel, uh, authentic, original, and different. And that's what I, that's exactly what I like about Balkans. And of course, it's uh, very, totally different. Uh, from last year, when we had Vanya Radovanovic uh, with uh, dramatic ballet Inie, which was my first place. Uh, this time we have, uh, well, Montenegro is uh, pretty lower in my ranking. Uh, 30 place is not that, uh, not that high. But still, I appreciate this entry for its uh, Balkan kind of touch to it. Mm, and the rhythm has made it more Balkan, more ethnic. Uh, with the lyrics it sounds kind of cheesy, kind of outdated, but still, uh, it's nice to have something happy, uplifting like that. Like the melody is so uplifting uh, that I can listen to without any problems. Uh, when it comes on, I'm okay. I can listen through the whole song. It's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, well, but, but about the result, if last year uh, Montenegro didn't qualify, uh, I'm worried that uh, again this year they won't qualify with this entry. It's not that like, it's like simplicity like we had with Salvador Sobral, uh, it worked. But in this case, I don't know if it will work for the people, like maybe televoting will, will save it kind of and don't put it in last place um, but the juries i i feel like they won't appreciate this too much so yeah that, that's what i feel about it uh, but uh, anyways i wish them good luck because they are talented and i'm sure they will bring uh, their best to tel aviv and i just hope they won't bring back this, uh, the same staging they had with the kind of those big notes, you know, uh, on the background, in the background, because it was terrible for me. It was too weird. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, that's my uh, review, kind of, uh, of this song. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, if you agree with me, do the like, uh, do the thumbs up. Uh, like the video. Uh, if you don't agree, dislike the video. So do the thumbs down. Uh, also comment in the comment section below. Let's have a cool dis discussion. Um, and also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you can be immediately notified about my newest uploads. Uh, also you can follow me on uh, social media, on Facebook, I have a fan page there, uh, and uh, on Instagram. Uh, and the links are in the description, so check it out. And also, uh, I'm part of Destination Eurovision, a Polish uh, uh, fan page on Facebook, uh, and I'm there on streams talking about the uh, countries, reviewing them, and stuff like that. So uh, check all of these links in the description. And again, thank you for watching. Uh, take care, guys. See you next time. Bye.